All right, we're ready. We're going to show you. You know, all month long we've been celebrating National Dairy Month by highlighting Wisconsin dairy farms. Yeah, today we're live at Roden Echo Valley Farm in West Bend with Rick Roden. Hey, Rick, I hey, understand Rick. you're a third, third generation dairy farmer. This is true? This is true. Good morning. Good for you. Good morning to you. I love seeing the farms. It's been so fun <laughs> to visit local dairy farms in Wisconsin. I can't get over how many of them are owned and operated still by families. Oh yes, 98% uh, of uh, dairy farms in Wisconsin and farms across the U.S. actually are, are still family owned. So um, we milk about 700 cows here on this family dairy farm. Um, my parents, Bob and Cindy, and my wife, Melissa, and I are, are partners together here on this farm. Pretty incredible. Yeah, I love hearing about your farm. Um, you can tell us a little bit more too, and how do you support the community around you? That's something I think we've learned so much about during Dairy Month is just how much you impact every single uh, you know home in the community where you live. Yep, absolutely. So, um, like I said, we milk about the 700 cows here, producing you know a, a great nutrition product, milk for for consumers to eat with uh, you know the milk getting made into cheese or ice cream or yogurts um, and and delicious glass of milk to drink as well. Um, we do a lot with the community. My, my youngest sister actually has a, a business here, Roden Barnyard Adventures, where she actually hosts people here for birthday parties or day camps, or this August we'll be having a Sunday on the farm here to get kids out and families out and schools out here to kind of give them a little taste of the farm life to see what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, they get to feed calves or see how cows get milked and get to really see where their food comes from. Cool. That is so awesome. You can do a birthday party there. That's so cool. I love seeing the baby cows. I know you call them calves, but it's just so cute how they're <laughs> peeking their heads through there. Yep. So we, we just got done feeding them. Every calf gets uh, two bottles of milk a day, one in the morning, one in the evening. And these calves here are just finishing up their morning breakfast of milk. And then uh, we'll come through in a little bit and give them uh, free choice grain and water that they can kind of nibble and drink on for the rest of the day. So cute. They're so cute. I think it's cool that you, like Molly said, bring people out so they can learn. And like you said, learn where our food comes from. You know, something that's fascinating and interesting to so many people is the innovation that you farmers use. And I know like using 90% less land per gallon of milk is a big one. How do you guys practice sustainability and, and conservation for, for the earth on your farm? Yep, good question. Um, so, you know, we crop about 2,000 acres. We crop um, corn and alfalfa hay primarily to feed the cows. Um, also, we grow some soybeans and some winter wheat. Uh, the winter wheat is a grain, and then we also use the, the stalk for bedding, the straw, the vertical calves. But, you know, it, the land is very important to us. You know, we, we don't put too much fertilizer on. We don't, you know, we put manure onto our fields for, to give the crops the nutrients to grow. And, you know, we, we're concerned and we want to keep the, the waters healthy and, and uh, keep the soil healthy to give our cows and our animals good nutritious crops to eat just like, just like us. I'm so impressed. And one of the things that I've learned so much about during Dairy Month and as we visit farms like yours is the incredible care you take of your animals. It, it's, it's truly impressive, um, not just what you do, but, but how much you value it. Yeah, I mean, I think there's times I might spend more time with the cattle than I do with my own kids. Um, <laughs> you know, but, you know, with, with the calves, you know, my mom and sister, I got to give them all the credit. They take care of the calves on a day in and day out basis, you know, making sure every one of them is looking healthy and gets the proper nutrition and vaccines. And I kind of work more on the cow side of things. I mean, even to the point that we have collars on our cows that tracks their activity. So kind of like us, we're in a Fitbit. We know how many where they're moving on, how much their movement they're making. We also check the rumination to making sure that they're healthy, that if the rumination drops a little bit, maybe I have to go and find her and see if, you know, she's not feeling well and, and follow, follow the proper protocols to uh, treat whatever illness she may have. So, yeah, we're tracking everything very close and watching every animal very close on this farm. Love that. How can people support the local dairy farmers like yourself? Mm-hmm. So buy local milk, buy local cheese. Um, you know, the, the things are stamped with proudly Wisconsin dairy or proudly Wisconsin cheese. 
look for those stamps or those labels or that badge and um, you know just buy as much cheese and milk um, we just had found out here in the last week the the new dietary guidelines say to put dairy in your diet three times a day whether that means that putting the milk on the cereal in the morning or having your yogurt or a lot of cheese in the afternoon and hey why not some ice cream in the evening right <laughs> you got it <laughs> rick thank done you so done. much for joining us we love your family farm it was really nice to learn more about it yeah absolutely anytime you bet Here's how you can support local dairy farmers. Buy local Wisconsin dairy products, just as Rex said. Look for the proudly Wisconsin cheese and dairy badges when you're shopping. And don't forget, hey, about your chance to win Wisconsin made ice cream for a year. All you gotta do is go to tmj4.com slash dairy and share your favorite ice cream creation. Pictures and videos are highly encouraged. The winner's gonna receive $400 gift certificate for Cedar Crest ice cream. And as Rick said, why not have that at night, right? It's a perfect before Absolutely. you go to bed. I love it.